It was enough to cause belongings to fly and beverages to splatter the ceiling of American Airlines Flight 759 and to hurt three passengers and seven flight attendants. The journey from Athens to Philadelphia had only 30 minutes left when severe turbulence struck. There wasn't really any warning at all. Um, I think that's kind of what caught so many people off guard is there was just very slight turbulence for about five seconds and then suddenly it felt like the whole plane was in free fall. The seatbelt sign was on, but the pilot told passengers he didn't see it coming. We're expecting some light turbulence. The aircraft in front of us didn't report anything. And, uh, it uh, just was totally unexpected. It's just the latest example of passengers experiencing severe turbulence and a scary ride. In two extreme cases, 27 people were injured while traveling from Moscow to Bangkok in May. In late 2015, 21 people were hurt on an Air Canada flight from Shanghai. Those cases, and this recent one, were all caused by something called clear air. It happens when cold and warm air come together, and it's hard to predict. A study released in April says clear air air turbulence is on the rise, particularly on transatlantic flights because of climate change. The latest studies are showing um, around a 25 percent increase in how strong the turbulence will feel, um, but also perhaps a doubling of the, uh, the prevalence or the frequency of strong turbulence. Clear air may also have an impact on passengers' wallets. It's there long enough that flight paths do get modified in order to avoid it if it's if it's severe enough. And so if that increases in the future, then flights could take longer. That means more fuel spent. It wouldn't make flights cheaper, that's for sure. And climate change might affect more than turbulence. As temperatures rise, the density of air declines. And so airplanes, um, it, so in a, in a less dense environment, an airplane has to go faster in order to take off. Koffel says if an airplane has to go faster, it will need to lighten its load. It could do that by cutting the amount of fuel or people on board, but a more likely scenario will be more restrictions on baggage weight. Stephanie Skanderis, CBC News, Toronto.